Throughout the videos and assignments, I will sometimes include comments to help you understand what is being done. Developers use comments to write hints and to share information with other developers if they're working in a team. We can also use them for ourselves to remind ourselves what chunks of code are supposed to do. Let's figure out how to make comments and when comments are used. To start with, comments begin with two forward slashes. So I can go ahead and I'll show you that we have a comment here. Do any additional setup after loading the view typically from a nib. I can then return, I can write another comment and I can start something like this is a comment. And as we mentioned in our last video, comments have no effect on our program at all. They're simply ways for us to tell ourselves what's going on. So I can add another comment below it. Generally, when we have multiple lines of comments though, we use a slightly different syntax and it looks like this. We can go ahead and add forward slash and an asterisk and we can add a few returns and I'm going to do another asterisk and a forward slash and anything between the asterisks will be commented out. So I can write information on this line, additional information here. We wouldn't want to comment every line of code inside of our project because this would lead to unmanageable code and very clumsy code. But in our example, we only have three lines of code so far. So let's go ahead and comment what our, all three of our lines of code do so we can reinforce the idea of variables. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to write, I am creating a variable named x that is of type integer integers are whole numbers and I can go below this and I could even have made this a two line comment but you see that even if I go over it carries over because this is still considered a single line of code um, I can go ahead and add an additional quote which says I am assigning the value of 5 to my variable x and we see that we can do both the creation of our variable and the assignment on the same line. So let's just simply write uh, my variable named height of Everest base camp is being assigned the value 16,900.3 since my variable is of type float. Loads are numbers with decimals. And here we get to see that we've used our comments to help us understand what our three lines of code are doing.